Hi, my name is Madison Ekstrand from The Very Frightening Tales. I'm in the studio with 519. Thanks for checking in to In the Studio with 519. I'm your host, Dan Savoy. This time, April Savoy checks in with Madison Ekstrand. She is an actress in an upcoming television show called Very Frightening Tales, being put out by Suzanne De Laurentiis. It's expected to hit screens in 2021 sometime this year. Before we check in with April and Madison, let's take a look at The Walk, a student film that Madison co-produced. Are you okay? Take care of myself. I don't need anyone taking care of me. It's just me to say, to say. Well? So, where are we heading? We? We aren't heading anywhere. you're excited about the launch of the very frightening tales this is a really big deal yes it is and this is like the first big thing I've ever done and starred in so I'm very excited for like when I hear when it's going to come out and everything because this is just such an amazing thing I've been working on and like everyone in it is just so good and creative and I'm lucky to be a part of it so you don't even know when it's going to come out yet As of right now, we don't know. Hopefully, I'm thinking this summer, hopefully, but we don't know yet. Oh, I look forward to it. It looks so good. (laughs) (laughs) So tell me about the series. So the series is like one episode has three short films in it and every short film has like a different storyline. So it's not going to be you're going to get, oh, okay, this is like the whole season. It's about this. It's going to be oh, wow, like there's a different creature, there's a different storyline. And it's just, everything's so different. And especially for like a TV series, it's just really cool how like it's set up. Awesome. So how did you get involved? Um, I met Suzanne through my mom's friend and she, I sent her like my audition tape and she's like, do you want to do this? And I was like, oh yeah. And then it started going like from there and she's like do you want to just keep recurring and everything I'm like definitely this is like an amazing project to be on awesome so um you're in a few different ones different episodes so I'd love to chat about each one of them at a time so tell me about the story of the episode and who you play in so that's the first one slice slice okay so I'm like the redhead and like I like how every episode I'm different a different person because I'm a wimp to dye my hair so like I like seeing how I look like with the wigs on and I'm like oh maybe you know maybe I might die like that or something like but yeah so I'm an actually an actress in Slice and me and Chris Dukes he's like my he's well I'm his co-star and he's also an actor and he's like hey, this is his first time audition and he goes in he thinks he accidentally kills me because he actually thinks it was fake all along so (laughs) and then it's just and then there's like a little surprise at the end I don't want to like ruin it but yeah that's basically how that one goes awesome okay then the curse on stone hill so that was the one where I did with Michael Perret he was like the sweetest person and I've learned so much from him like in between takes he was like oh, do you want to do our lines together? I'm like, definitely. And like after every take or like every after every other take, he'll be like, you're doing such a good job and you're so supportive. But anyways, The Curse of Stone Hill was actually shot in a real haunted house. And it was just, it was the creepiest thing ever. Everyone was like, everyone was so scared. We used the buddy system because (laughs) I felt like I was being watched. But The Curse of Stone Hill is about this daughter and she so goes to the haunted house she doesn't know it's haunted but she's trying to find out more about her mom because she was adopted 
And she then goes upstairs. She sees her mom's costume and she tries it on. And then at the end, she's like possessed by her mom. Ooh. And then the last one, Dinner Rush. So Dinner Rush is more like a vampire. I don't know if it's really vampires. They never really said like specifically, but I think they're like vampires. But it's kind of like a meeting thing. And then like they get mad at each other. And then like this human versus vampire thing. And then I'm just the waitress and I'm like, what's going on? Like, (laughs) (laughs) and I don't want to, I don't want to give too much away. (laughs) Yeah. That's awesome. So will you be in more episodes in the future? Yes, I will. I'm recurring as of right now. And this April, like at the end of April, I'll be back in LA and we're shooting a New Jersey double one. So that's going to be really cool. Awesome. Did you get to be um, in any of the scenes with the sh- soul shredder creature? Because he looks like the old Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt. No, I was never in with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Have you ever had any interest in maybe putting makeup on like him? Um, because it's so detailed. Honestly, because I like the... I'm like a nerd because I like Star Wars and stuff. And I like, like, I look at the makeup and everything they do. And I think it'd be so cool. And like, if they just did like the full cast thing and like the, like, you know what I mean? Like the Mm -hmm. whole thing and like put stuff on me. I think that'd be so cool, honestly. (laughs) Something different. So how scary do you think Very Frightening Tales is going to be when people get to watch it? Well, I knew it was happening and I was still like, we're sitting on the couch watching. I was putting my feet up because I was getting so scared. And I like, I knew what was going to happen next. And I was like screaming and like, even like my family were so scared. And like my, I think my mom actually screamed and she watches scary movies a lot too. So, (laughs) so do you like scary movies? And if you do, what do you like about them? I like scary movies a lot because like, I feel like they're always like different and they're always like there's something always popping up you never they're kind of like mr like mysterious and you never know what's going to really happen so I like it because of that and plus I've always watched movies like with my parents my mom loves horror movies and like so she's always watching them she's always like at Walmart buying new videos or she's always on Amazon trying to find new like scary movies so we're always watching them so she must be pretty excited that you're in this series oh, yeah. and she comes with me every time I go to LA and she's like my biggest support of course my whole family supportive but she comes with me every time and she's like I'll I'll be like yeah hey, I'm gonna go get a water and she goes no I'll go get it for you <laughs> so I was like yeah nice <laughs> so Susan DeLaurentius has such skill and experience what's it like working with her she is like my fairy godmother and like the whole cast and crew we're like so close but like I've I've gotten close to Suzanne I call her auntie Suzanne and I've learned so much from her I've took a couple acting classes from her she taught me literally she's still teaching me like everything I know in the business is like from her so I'm very lucky to like know her and like have her in my life and especially her mentor in me that's awesome. So what's it like being on set and working on a COVID film set? Well, it's a little different because this is like my first film and they're like, we cut the crew in half. So I was like, when I got on the set, I was like, there's more people than this on a crew. <laughs> and, and Susan's like, yeah. <laughs> and, but everyone's safe. Everyone's wearing masks. I mean, even like in between takes I put on my mask and everything so we're super safe everyone gets tested and like everyone's like washing their hands so it's like super safe it's a little weird because like for my first experience everyone's wearing masks but it's still fun awesome now you're a film producer as well so let's talk about the two films that you've worked on uh the first one is The Walk yes actually those were the ones that I kind of like watched and helped like produce I never really got into it so like I wasn't so much of a producer on it okay so you're like in a produce assistant producer then yes yeah (laughs) Yeah. so what about for the boys 
for the boys, I was also an extra on that one. And that was like, it was a student film, but I've learned like, you know, not to look at the camera and not like, I've learned like a lot of like my after acting classes, it was like my first kind of like my role, but it was an extra. So I was also a producer on that, but that was also like an assistant one. I kind of like watched and I learned and everything. Awesome. So do you see yourself doing more things being the producer? Honestly, I don't know because I see all the jobs on set and it's like, I want to try each one of them because they all look so, <laughs> all of them are like so fun. I feel like directing and writing my own film would be really cool. And because I've come up with so many scary movie ideas and like, even like I told Suzanne and my mom, we'll be talking, I'll be like, yeah, is this a good scary movie idea? I should write a script. Thanks to Madison Extrand and April Savoy for that great interview. That's it for In the Studio with 519. We'll see you next time. <laughs>